Yes, yeah, they've got an early one. They've got Nickel. So the dots built the pressure. Finally, he drove it one there, and he's found the outside edge. One, it didn't do a lot. It might have moved away a touch off the seam, but he wasn't there. He was looking to hit it too straight. If... Yeah. Well, he's away with a confidence choke. Just leant on that. The timing was very good. I don't think it'll go for four. No, it won't. Good kick. Oh, that's close. That's very close. Oh, it's better than that. It's out. Wow, what a start for Zimbabwe. Fine, but that's irrelevant since he didn't play a stroke. Is it going on to hit the stumps? Just clip them. Just clipping. Strike. Here's Jarvis. Yeah. Nice stroke, confident stroke, just got up on his toes and eased it away. Yep. Good stroke. Too full from Met. And that one does go for four. Yep. Just a wee bit straight, that's where they've heard so far. No, that's good running. Yeah. That's away, that's fine. Very fine, and it will beat fine leg. So another poorly directed ball this. There he goes. He didn't get it brilliantly, but he'll pick up four. Well, the length wasn't quite there, but I could... And to throw, oh dear me. Well, it's hit Taibu's gloves. It was a genuine edge. Shot. Cracking stroke from Gupto. Classic cover drive. Too straight. Just too straight. Well, that's a direct response from the wide delivery. But... Yeah. Lifted in the air beautifully by Gupto. Now that's pitched, but it will still roll to the boundary for four. I think that wind's getting a little... Uh... Yeah more ferocious so well, that's probably an overstatement as uh, Guptil again takes it off his hip probably going to have enough on it yes he will four more to Guptil oh. that's a good delivery from Jarvis and this will go fine enough for four that's just really good batting it was a slower delivery but it's a terrific shot. It really is beautifully played. The footwork, superb. So he goes again, and this time he picks up back-to-back -back boundaries. So expensive start for the... Out, should be out, and is out. Just a little bit cute there. Kane Williamson with the footwork, shuffling across. And this time Williamson goes walking at Shingi Mezakitsa. Just close the face on a good catch, nice and low. Tom Latham on debut. Big moment. It's 50 for Martin Guptill. Beautifully judged. A mixture of some nice aggression for New Zealand to get a big score. Oh, pulled away from Guptill, and there's a man back there. He can't run it down. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I'll remember that for a long time. A glorious cover drive. Right back in this. Yep. That's another chase and another boundary. So good signs. Through. No protection there. Just had to beat square leg. Bowled him! Got it through! Oh, and he's elated too. Magnificent stuff. To bed. <laughs> Superb delivery. Just coming back a little bit. Top of middle stump. And he gets a ripper. <laughs> and he plays that stroke well, doesn't he? He's got it through. Oh, oh trouble here. If he hits, he's out. He misses. Edge yeah, out as it carries. I think it has, yes. They're claiming it. I think there's uh, nothing to review there. That's out. Or again, it's the fuller length again. Just angling across. Latham on the drive. It's dying, but it's a good catch from Taibu. 
Yeah. No. It's nicely played. Nathan McCallum, it's powerfully played as well for four. Good stroke. Yes. That's pulled away powerfully. Touch short. Beautiful shot from Brownlee. Yep. Cut this time, and that is strong as well. Beautiful square cut from Dean Brownlee. Yep. Well, tough, tight run. He's hit. He's hit as well. Direct hit. They're going upstairs. Well, direct hits are normally always out. Even though he put on a good dive, I would suggest he's gone. Let's have a look. Well and truly, direct hits are always out. Didn't get all of it, but he's got enough. Four out through mid-wicket, and that might... Interesting period here with Meth back into the attack, and uh, Alice is able to cash in immediately. Meth. That's nicely played, and that's four. And that's a very fine shot and full reward for Alice. He's enjoying it, isn't he? Oh, he's hit that beautifully. It was a poor delivery. Do here to remedy the situation. Well, he's got the best possible result. It was slow. It was a little shorter. Mazakaza has a final say. There you can see it out the back of the hand. And just hitting the top of off stump. Yeah, really well bowled that. Straight through. Straight through Nathan McCullum. Gee, he's done a great job under the breeze. Nathan McCullum thought he could hit it down the ground, and he couldn't. Lost all control, all poise. Yeah, yeah. He gets that one, Kyle Mills, and he may well get four. Yes, he will. Gee, that's good timing. And that's gone straight through Kyle Mills, who was a little bit out of sorts, to say the least, with the bat today. Half overs to survive as well. Again, you miss, I hit. Says Kyle Jarvis. Now they're getting it. That's close, really close. That's out, yes indeed. So New Zealand have not been able to bat through their 50 overs. And New Zealand bowled out. Where's it going to hit? There you go, middle and leg, leg stump. Comfortable decision and a good one. Perfect performance by Zimbabwe to come back here. New Zealand threatening 270 to 80. Maybe even thought about 300 at one stage when, but a lot of credit must go to this bowling attack, which has turned things around. Two for 41 for Jarvis. Back on track as Mills is opening from this. The That's close. That's close. with it. I think it's a very good decision. Looks fairly straight to me. Yep. Good bounce. You have to say this wicket's had good pace and good carry. For one. And it's braceful. Bowling into the wind. Oh, chance if he hits. There cannot have been too much in that. All of Mills third over. Full length delivery and that's a beautiful drive. That is the shot of Zimbabwe in innings. Not saying too much at the moment. He's only had five overs. Oh. Gee, oh, that is close. That is close. Let's have a look. He is stretching out, but isn't it enough? It's going to be very tight. I don't think he's going to struggle. Bale was up. Gone. And Taylor underway, and that should just speed across this very good outfield to the boundary. It does. Mills into his fourth over. Edge out. I'm afraid. Pushing hard at the ball. And that took an age to get. It's a good option from Brendan Taylor. Shown a liking to do that previous innings. And it wasn't perfectly timed, but it was well weighted. It's a great shot. Just a little bit of width that time from Southie. Better signs from the Zimbabwe skipper. That's a terrific shot. Straight back over the bowler's head. And into the boundary for four. 
shovels it somewhat, but it should be good enough to go all the way. And it will. Will this be six? No, just short, one bounce. Stroke, really good shot that. The timing, brilliant. Pad, bat, what was it first? I think it was bat first. Swung away on the onside, and that'll go for four. That's what they need. They need a few more. Catch! And again, no timing. It'll be a good catch, and it will be taken. So Alice has made the breakthrough. For Kane Williamson, Kaibu threw the shot and could not get it over the infield. Kane Williamson's very quick, and he made it look simple. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Cat. So he obliges one bounce into the backward square boundary. Good over. Bowling five, brilliant, mate. Fifty for Brendan Taylor. And beautifully played. Oh, that's big. There's the first big one of the day. Oh, oh, my goodness me. And that's gone sailing over the Otago Daily Time stand. Didn't even bounce on the roof. Carried it all the way. That's going to take some fetching. Catch! Yeah, he hasn't got this at all. That's beautifully bowled from Nicol. Oh, he's, he's got it. He has got it. So here you go, champ. Have another go. And the problem for Taylor was he was looking to go leg side and hit across it. And it almost got big on Andy Ellis. Did really well. And then go, go! Keep up. Oh, that might be close to a direct hit. But the, it's a bit casual. A little bit casual, Chukumbura. And has he made it? Oh, he has. Catch! Oh, he's knocked the bat out of his hand. He's gone straight through Williamson. And Waller ended up losing his bat. Look at this. <laughs> Disappeared. Was trying to get it back in. <laughs> oh, that's very close. It's not too side, is it? It's Here we go. This is the one. The original decision is not out, remember? Well, there's enough of the ball hitting the top of middle stump. Oh, that's a good shot. Straight over the top of mid-off. That'll race away for four. Well, he's timed that beautifully, but it was fraught with danger. Particularly oh, now. For it. His uh, innings is over. He struck it sweetly. Uh, that's the end of him. Meth confident that he timed it well enough and... Yep. Good timing again. Four more. Yes, yes. He struck that nicely too. And while it wasn't as exquisitely timed as the delivery... Ellis helped on its way by Price. Did you get a bat on it? Oh, that's adventurous stuff. He's tried that a few times. Finally, he's got one. And he got it well, too, didn't he? <laughs> close. Really close and out. Yep. That looked really wicket to wicket there. And Nickel. Lee. Keegan Meth going for the sweep shot. No real turn. It's hit him right in front of middle. Yeah. Easy one for Chris Gaffney. Yeah, that's it. Did he lift us? No, I don't know. McCullum looks uh, pretty happy that he's done the job. But we know what most keepers are like. Does he get it back behind? No, he doesn't. Yeah, that's why McCullum's so confident. And Zimbabwe haven't quite measured up, unfortunately, for them. So handshakes all around. Yeah, pretty happy New Zealand camp. Still things to work on. So that's how it stands today. New Zealand made 248 batting first. 
And Zimbabwe bowled out for 158.